the winter of 2020, a man riding his 86 Honda VFR motorcycle along a small mountain pass in western Switzerland claims he had a run-in with a mysterious creature. The frigid air had begun to paint his knees and fingers, and he yearned to be home in a warm bed. As he approached a bridge, he saw what he thought was a wounded man kneeling on the side of the road, holding his stomach. It was a bad stretch of road, and so he slowed down and decided to check to see if the man was okay. As he neared, the figure quickly stood up and began to walk. I only saw him clearly when he crossed the road, thanks to my headlights, and it was damn creepy. It looked like a living, rotting corpse, he recalled, noting that its skin reminded him of that of a hairless dog. The witness watched as it ran off across the field on all fours. After putting some distance between them, the figure stopped, stood up on two legs, and looked back at the man. After a couple of seconds, it turned and calmly walked into some nearby woods. The witness could not recall if the creature was wearing clothes or not, or if it had fur or hair. Could it have been a prankster? The location of his sighting was fairly remote. He noted that the nearest town was 10 kilometers away. With the exception of a few cabins in the mountains, there was absolutely nobody and nothing around. Add to that the frigid weather and it seems unlikely that somebody would be wasting their time pranking people. Proving that they come in all shapes and sizes, in March 2021, a spiky-headed entity was sighted in Lake Havasu City, Arizona. While playing around a construction site, three young men were surprised when a, quote, spiky-headed humanoid thing appeared out from behind some building material. The witness described it as tall, skinny, and wearing a cloak or a rag. Upon being sighted, it turned and ran away very quickly. These mysterious entities are sometimes known particularly by their unique behavior. Derek Hayes over at Monsters Among Us podcast has spent years detailing cases involving strange shadowy figures that move in unison. He has nicknamed them the Mirror Men. A case from Virginia, although not exactly the same, had characteristics that were similar enough to make me wonder if the experiences were related to the same phenomenon. A woman recalls a bizarre experience that happened when she was only two years old back in 1995 while living with her parents on a military base in Virginia. She acknowledged that at such a young age it's hard to recall things but admits the experience was so bizarre that her memory of the event is thoroughly intact. She can remember every detail very clearly and is certain that it is not a dream. At the time her father, a military officer, was on call and he was away that evening. As she lay in bed in her room, which was at the end of a long hallway, she observed a quote, humanoid shadowy figure pacing up and down the hall. It was just the lone figure. Things would get stranger. As I'm watching, I notice it won't enter my room. It stops directly at my doorway. So I'm a little weirded out at this point. A few moments later, a second shadow figure appears from directly behind my door. My door is wide open and it's against the wall, thus creating a small triangle shape where I used to hide for hide and seek with friends. The second figure is timing itself perfectly with the one in the hall, where it peeks its torso out from behind the door at the same time the other one reaches my doorway. Now I'm really nervous. I'm a two-year-old child and haven't any idea what is going on. My mom is in her room adjacent to mine, and I'm starting to get the urge to dash into her room at this time. As I slowly muster the courage to make a mad dash into her room, a third figure appears. Now this one is in the hallway also, but not pacing, rather it's morphing through the walls until its entire torso is through. Now I'm seriously freaked out. Even more so odd is that all figures are timing perfectly where they appear at the same time, either at my doorway, from behind the door, or out of the wall in the hall. In a sense, the figures were mirroring each other's movements perfectly, as if in a loop. At this point, the witness decided to make a run for her mother's room. She waited until the figures were no longer looking in her direction, and she ran. 
As she did, she noted the figures all tried to reach out and grab her, but missed. She eventually reached her mother's bed, climbed in, pulled the covers over her head, and fell asleep. She admits that it was the weirdest thing to ever happen to her, and it hasn't happened since. Animals behaving strangely is a whole aspect of Fordiana. In late 2019, a man working on a farm described a strange event involving a sheep. As he was carrying out his usual morning routine of feeding the animals, he noticed something odd at the far end of the sheep pen. He initially thought that it was a sheep hanging from a fence post, but as he got closer, he realized that the sheep was standing on its hind legs. Upon seeing this, he froze in his tracks. He was only about 10 feet away from the animal. I just stood there in silence for a moment. After maybe 30 seconds of standing still, the sheep turned around and looked at me. It didn't even seem phased that I was watching it. It just said, oh, good morning, dropped back onto all fours and went to eat with the rest of the sheep. He noted that the voice was a man's voice, but it sounded off. It wasn't malicious in any way. It was actually quite polite, as insane as that sounds. The witness is certain of what he saw. I genuinely have no clue what happened here. I'm not schizophrenic, and I know I wasn't hallucinating. I just don't have a clue what I could have seen. A similar thing happened to a pair of teen boys, one 19, the other 17 in the US. They described going down to visit the cows, sheep, and horses which were kept on a farm at a university in their town. They did it quite regularly, though this day would be different. As they rounded the corner to the sheep pasture, they observed a sheep looking like it was slouched, head first, dead in a feeding trough. We both were quite alarmed and stared for a minute, sure that this animal was literally laying dead there. Just as I was about to climb over the fence to go check on it, this sheep stood up on its hind legs looked slowly over at us, still standing, and stared me dead in the eyes. It felt like forever that it was staring, and then, still staring into my eyes, slowly lowered itself onto all fours. The witness claims that he and his brother quickly left the scene. We both felt the message that we were not welcome there, and both had this feeling that we had seen something we shouldn't have. I don't know, I still can't explain it. The witness's brother, who remains haunted by the encounter to this day, noted a detail that the main witness had not noticed, that when the sheep walked away it appeared, quote, almost ashamed of the encounter. To the witness, it was as if a normal sheep had been possessed momentarily and then walked away just as confused as the two boys. Neither the witness nor his brother had taken any kind of drugs, nor were they drinking when they had this encounter. The strange animal cases continue. Southern Indiana, 1996, a witness, then 11, was driving in a car with his parents after attending a birthday party at a local bowling alley. He was seated in the back seat. As they pulled up to a stoplight, the witness peered over at the gray station wagon sitting on the road beside them. He was surprised to see, in the front seat of the car, a husky child sitting with a paper bag over his head. Just then, the kid took off the bag tentatively as if to peek. Then he went further, removing the bag entirely. It was a pig. I don't know how else to describe it. The eyes were human and he had a snout and ears and was a callow pink. He looked around his field of view until we locked eyes. He panicked immediately and fell to the floor. At this point, the female driving him an older lady in her early 60s with mostly gray hair and thick collegiate glasses looked over concerned. Then the light turned green and they drove off quickly. The witness implored his mother who was driving to speed up but she ignored the request. In Testigo Obni newsletter issue 2, there is a bizarre story which occurred in Avila, Spain on April 17, 1997. On that night, farmer Amelia Carballs had gone out into the field to use the bathroom, as there was something wrong with the indoor plumbing. While in the field, she suddenly heard noises coming from somewhere behind her. 
Turning around, she was terrified to see a towering, dark, hairy, bipedal animal. It somewhat resembled a large two-legged dog with huge kangaroo-like hind legs. It had hairy human-like facial features and emitted loud grunting sounds. The creature began to move towards her aggressively and managed to grab her as she turned to run. It attacked her, tearing at her clothes with its sharp claws. At this, she became overcome with fear and passed out. When she came to, she could see the creature standing over her. It suddenly ran away across the field into the surrounding woods, using great leaps and bounds. Soon after, she saw a luminous object take off from a nearby field and disappear into the sky. Fast-moving entities have also been documented. Weird cryptids and even shadow people have reported to cover vast amounts of ground in mere seconds, far too fast for anything natural to cover. In the summer of 2015, a 16-year-old was out rabbit hunting along a set of railroad tracks in western Vermont when he saw something that startled him. He noted that he had walked up and down those tracks hundreds of times in his life to go camping, swimming, or hiking and had seen all kinds of things, but never anything like this. I was about a mile down the tracks going back to my truck when I suddenly had the feeling I should turn around. About 150 yards or so down the tracks, I could see something standing off to the side. It was a very tall, skinny, dark figure that had arms and legs that were extremely disproportionately long. It was just standing there. I turned away from it and immediately looked back and it was another 50 yards or so further away. At this point I ran back to my truck. I haven't seen it again and I don't want to. UFO researcher Sven Shalin received an early case in which two Estonian men claimed that they were nearly attacked by a frogman. The incident occurred in Germinda, Estonia in 1938. Two men were walking along a trail in the woods when a strange bipedal frog creature appeared and began running toward them. Terrified, the two men split up and ran. The entity continued to chase one of the men for about a hundred feet before vanishing behind some latticework beside the path. They described that it was about three and a half feet tall, most of which were legs. It had a roundish head, no neck, and a body with a hump on its chest. Its mouth appeared to be a, quote, straight slit extending over a great part of the head, with thin, slit-like eyes. Its skin was brownish-green, except for its hands, which appeared the color of human skin. The being walked very strangely, the legs moving in a careful, methodical, lifting fashion, quote, as though our gravity were too small. When chased, the being seemed to accelerate very fast, unnaturally so. Monstrous creatures have also been reported. Bigfoot creatures standing 25 feet tall, massive stickmen and even ETs. There have been many large entities reported over the years. In 2005 in South America a witness, then five, claims that he saw one of these supersized creepers while returning home from his grandparents home. It was nighttime and he was sitting in the back seat of the car. His father was driving and his mother was sitting beside him in the front. The witness recalled looking out the window at random things like trees, the sky, etc. Then something caught his eye. We were just passing by a small house at that moment. And in front of the house was this huge white humanoid thing. It was almost as big as the house. The house was roughly around 20 feet. Its head was almost as high as the roof of the house. It almost looked like it was trying to climb on the house. When I saw it, I wasn't really scared of it. I was actually more interested in what it was. After that, I literally remembered nothing else. The witness does not recall telling his father, yet the father would occasionally bring it up to friends. The father was convinced that he had seen a Liba, a mythological woodland spirit that takes the form of a giant. <laughs> 